morning, I am happy to send a message to the St. Phoebe Society for their conference to be held in the autumn. I wish that I could be with you, but my traveling days are very largely over. I consider that the work that the Phoebe Society is doing is of great interest and value. I am fully in favor of the revival of the order of deaconesses. In the Byzantine East, it was never abolished. It merely fell into disuse. I hope soon it will be reactivated. But first let us clarify what we are talking about. By deaconess I mean a woman deacon. Sometimes people make a distinction here and say that deaconesses were not equal to male deacons, that they were more on a level with subdeacons, that they were not really ordained, but they were just blessed for various practical duties. I do not agree with this approach. It's true that perhaps in the West uh, they were not considered to be fully equal to deacons, but certainly in parts of the Orthodox East they were equal. And we can look at the ordination service of the deaconess as practiced in different parts of the Christian East. It is identical with the ordination of the deacon. The prayers are the same. The deaconess is given the orarion, the stole which distinguishes the deacon. She is ordained during the liturgy within the sanctuary she is given the chalice with the consecrated gifts to hold, which she places on the holy table. But though in this way the deaconess in the Christian East was considered to be the equal of the deacon, her duties were different. She didn't, as far as we know, administer communion, though she may have done so visiting the sick, but during the liturgy, no. She didn't, as far as we know, read the gospel. She didn't preach during the liturgy. She was in the gallery, in the women's part of the church, where she maintained order, and her special role was to help in the baptism of adult women candidates, which would have been done by immersion with the candidate stripped. So for reasons of modesty, the deaconess looked after that, and though the priest administered the baptism, she took care of the deaconess. Now, today, if we revive the order of deaconesses, we could uh, give them different tasks not necessarily what they did in the early church. And I think we need to rethink the role of the deacon at the same time. Many people see the deacon simply as a liturgical person, or they see the diaconate simply as a stepping stone to the priesthood. We should revive a sense of the importance of the deacon. We ought to have a deacon in every parish, though in many parts of the Orthodox Church they are a rarity. The liturgy is not complete without the deacon, who acts as a bond and link between uh, the priest in the sanctuary and the people in the body of the church. But the deacon might have other duties as well, and so might the deaconess. So let us think carefully about the diaconate in all its different forms. May you in St. Phoebe's society contribute positively 
to a rethinking and reactivation both of the diaconate for men and the diaconate for women. Take the two subjects together. God bless you. Good luck. Thank you.